Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, Jim Dedman. Hope you enjoyed today's video that I put together for you. We're always doing something interesting here in the shop. Stick around, watch the video, enjoy, comment. Thank you. All right, the two pieces of key stock you see here is three quarters. I have a project I want for, and I just went and got key stock because it's pretty square. I had a piece, but uh, I went ahead and got two pieces of it from local fastening them. This came in the mail while I was out. I know what it is. And I went ahead and I ordered this because I seen it on eBay. And this I really need it for a project. So it's a piece of three inch diameter aluminum bar. And this is an eBay seller. And I thought about looking at Excuse me, I left, left the door it's so coolish today. Um, I have a project in mind for this, and I'm not really wanting to tell what it is because it's going to involve some work and it's going to involve a Christmas present, hopefully. So, with, but this is going to take this piece of three inch to make what I want to make. Uh, I'll be making a video and you will see it, but it won't be released till after Christmas. So that's several months from now because that's going to be a Christmas present that, that I'm going to be producing out of that. And i got to get my stuff together on this one. It's going to be more a little bit involved. So, there's presents. Right, what we're doing now is we're starting on this project. Basically what I'm going to do is make a fence system for my quarter band saw using a slot. So I'm taking this 12 inch piece of key stock and I'm just milling just a little bit off of it where it will slide in there. According to my measurements, if I take about 10 thousandths off of it, it'll be true enough. So this is going to be the the base of the whole system here. And that's what it's going to take so that's what we're doing right now just taking a little just, I just put a bigger mill in so I didn't have to worry about it just hit it because I'm not taking much off and we're just taking a light mill cut right across it There's going to be some other machining done to this to get some squareness and stuff, so. Now you can see right here is my sliding fit that I wanted. So this goes down both sides slides. So what's going to, what will happen is I'm going to make these into two six inch pieces. This, or what, to each piece is going to have its own slot in the same location. This is for where we're, where we're going to put the cross piece in, which is going to be another piece of three quarter key. So we've got three quarter end mill in here. Uh, insert mill. 
and we're just going to go across here a six, uh, eight of an inch deep. Let's see if this fits in there because it's got to fit in. Unmill piece! Stop! They have to modify it a little bit so it won't be as fit. Because this is going to be, that'll be welded or bolted. We ain't decided yet. But that's going to be attached to that. Okay, one down, one to go. This is before I do any weld or anything. So this is what this is for. So I can put a flat piece of stock in it. Then I can put it in between here. And, or a piece of stock. And that way I can push it with a, a consistent methodology. I mean, later on, if I want to go back and cut these all flat, I can. But I think what I'm going to do right now, for the time being, is it's just to kind of lay it out. So see, this is a 12. This was a 12-inch piece of stock too. So it'll be plenty rigid enough. So we'll saw this off and uh, get it ready. Right now what we're doing, we got everything figured out. We're going to mill this down to where two-thirds of it's going to be flush under the table end. So the reason for that is, is so that won't work and be set across the top of it. So what I've done is I established a zero on the part. And I'm just going to mill back and forth, start with 100,000, eight of an inch off the first shot, and just kind of cut it down. The mill is not locking it today, it's back off a little bit sitting here. On the second one, and there's some lot of things that this won't work for. But for certain items, I really want squareness and have to use the vertical saw. This is going to be really, and I, I, you know, it's got some material. Granted, the key stock is a little bit expensive. It's like twelve dollars for both pieces of it. But you know. I could, if I could got plain key, it'd been a little cheaper. This particular key was cut up zinc rated, so it's a little more expensive. But, but again, this is going to work out just fine for the product. And it saved a lot of time. I just had to hit a little bit on the mill. Just a little bit to get it to size and to do this little job right here, you know, to make it slick. Whereas if I'd done it out of stock, I'd have probably had to square it up, maul that good stuff. So, with the time savings involved, it's going to be just fine. Like I say, this is just a, I'm not calling, you know, this is something I've been brewing on my mind for, for a, a parallel cut, this is going to be the squarest way to make it work. And to do angles, I'll just have to add to my angle piece if I really need to do a precise angle on the bandsaw. But 99% of the work that's going to be done with that bandsaw is going to be cut parallel. You see, I could either, there's, you know, there's probably some other work to be done to it. This is the main, making these pieces is the big part. So 
There it is. I just got to deburr it and set it over and check. Alright, there's the finished tool. So, see what this is. That's a little hot from welding. But see, that way you put something in here and it's going to slide and keep it square. Now, what I'll probably do is use a, uh, a board piece of plastic, you know, something uh, just thin, whatever, just to lay in there like this. You see, and this is so this was made to flat. So, say, say if I need to, well, I could put a thicker piece in to get past this. So, that way, that, that will lay there so you wouldn't jam into the metal. So, that's kind of the plan. That's kind of what I got. Uh, I'm well pleased with what's come out, how it turned out. So, there's another little project off the books. Thank you for watching today's video. This is Jim. This, by the way, I will remind you, this is a copyrighted production of James Deadman Sawlogs Plastic Hubs for your personal enjoyment here on YouTube. The other thing I want to do is quickly thank everybody that's out here, that's visited my channel, that views, that comments. Our channel is growing thanks to you, and I will send you a sincere thanks. Thank you, and have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.